Hello, everybody. Welcome to your weekly celebrity reading this week. It is Sam Fender. And if you're new to my channel, I do a weekly celebrity reading based on subscriber requests. I have absolutely no idea who Sam Fender is until I had to Google him to get his birth chart. And he is a singer. Okay. Now, here's the thing. Uh, uh, first, if you are a subscriber, definitely leave comments on celebrities you want me to read. I will add them to the list. Secondly, um, I do cold reads, so uh, I actually don't even, I, I didn't even know who he was. I had to Google him. He's a young singer uh, from uh, uh, the UK, okay? And uh, uh, I, so I don't Google them in terms of like what's going on in their, you know, lives because I like to do cold readings. Uh, you never want to have an emotional attachment to the people that you read uh, because sometimes tarot readers will, you know, if subconsciously, if it's like they're reading a fan or people that they love, they will subconsciously, you know, sometimes just like interpret the cards to uh so it's favorable right for them but listen uh sam fender he is a taurus so i pulled up his birth chart i don't know the time he was born so i don't know where the houses are at but he is a taurus okay so first things first we know this is going to be the best year that he's had since 2011 okay he is starting to come into like he's going to get a lot of attention secondly uh he had his venus in taurus and he also has his pluto and scorpio two domiciles all right uh, planets in their domiciles. Now, what does this mean? He is a very romantic person. He is a very sensual person, and he is uh, has this really crazy emotional intensity. Uh, so uh, I'm not surprised that he is a singer because you know uh, there's a lot of you know just the love of the arts here. Okay, and so Sam Fender, let's go ahead and see what's going on for him uh, for his energies right now. Oh gosh, for his energies right now. Um, moving forward into 2023 and uh what else was i gonna say uh yeah that's it and if you're new to my channel don't forget to leave uh requests for celebrities you want me to read and i'll also go through the playlist because um i get a lot of requests for people that i've already read um so they might already yeah, they may already be there <laughs> in the playlist all right so fam sam fender uh you'll also see my dog join me so she's taking up all my table space here but we're going to see if i can make do with uh without waking her up she looks she, yeah she's really out of it all right so here we go sam fender things are good for him wow he's good he's good he's in a really good place actually uh, wow. Mm. He could have connected with someone recently from his past. Uh, but listen, he did get the two of pentacles. All right. And so uh, speaking of his past, he had to make some sort of decision. He was possibly in a place uh, where he had to. Uh, I'm getting the more of the impression that it was a it was out of his hands uh, he uh, he was in a situation where he had to make a decision uh, uh, but it wasn't anything that you know uh, he had anything to do with uh, the good news is it's really helped him and it's really something that brought a little bit more balance in his life you see this card you know uh, you know two is really choices you see the the, the juggler here juggling the pentacles bound in the sign of infinity okay so you can do this your entire life whatever you are wherever you are at what point in your life do you drop that pentacle to move forward okay that's going to bring a little bit more balance also it's something that's very new to him i feel like a lot of that newness energy is coming through there's a lot of new things that's happening in his life uh things that he's hasn't had to you know make decisions about so that's really good it brought us here to the heart of his spread which i love he got the six of cups in the tree of life six is the heart of the tree of life this is a lot of harmony this is a lot of beauty of course with you know his uh his his uh venus and taurus that really resonates you know with his chart as well but this is all there's look at this card come on a lot of comfort a lot of security this is the biggest house in tarot but there's a lot of sharing here there's a lot of like love and joy and you know there like i said earlier there someone came back there could have been someone that came back into his life this is a card of nostalgia too as well okay and so he is having 
getting some really good moments. Uh, especially right now, the date timestamp, what is today? It's January 7th. So Mercury is retrograde. And one great thing about Mercury being retrograde is that... Uh, it is it involves the past right and so people from our past do come up um, a lot during Mar uh, mercury retrogrades and there's always a reason for that so i love this energy for him because it's it's bringing a lot of comfort a lot of security a lot of protection and this is really good for him now he did get the four of pentacles in his challenge area there's one thing that he really needs to focus on is uh just putting his finances as an order okay not only his finances but uh there could be a sense of him uh, uh, just in his world because pentacles you know even though they they do represent money and wealth it is earthbound right pentacles are earthbound so it is our physical reality and him you know being an earth sign it should resonate with him but it really is you know uh, uh just start thinking about that okay start putting your uh, uh, building the world that you want put a lot of you know energy toward your finances too in terms of building it for the future okay because four is all about order right and so a lot of stability here a lot of stability energy he's uh what's really interesting by the way is that uh you know his chart his saturn is in pisces okay saturn is moving into pisces into march he is going to and that's his you know return in his chart but he is going to it's moving into some big life lessons here uh and a lot of it's going to have to do with like money and and, and savings and you know uh, what makes sense financially uh career wise as well but he did get the high priestess so this is really great this is you know uh you, uh, he's really really trusting his intuition he doesn't have a problem with that looking at his chart like he is very intuitive okay especially because he has a stellium in scorpio all right that's already a huge huge thing scorpios are very intuitive okay and you know they they do have that you know a raw emotional intensity but they also have that like really strong intuition and i really love that about him and he's you know there's a lot of protection energy he's in a really good place he got the temperance card too and so this is in the root of his spread so um he's good he's great i mean temperance listen you know uh the one thing about temperance is you know when i said earlier about him having to really start thinking about his future putting things into order especially financially he is going to be doing that and uh it, you know you can see temperance is all about balance it's all about moderation it's all about you know having the patience to see see things through but at the end of the day the balance is the really most important part okay because that is going to bring you that you know we all seek enlightenment right that's you know why we all want to seek enlightenment and equilibrium as well a balance in our life she was formerly known as an alchemist okay because if you think about temperance it means moderation it comes from the word temporary which actually means to mix all right so the alchemical uh you know representation is here you can see her pouring between the two cups what okay that's knowledge right but there's that balance and so what's really interesting is he's moving into it you see the pattern here with uh you can't i'm sorry you can't see with my camera let me push it over a little more the fact that we started off with imbalance the one thing he has to work on is finding that balance and structure and stability and especially with you know uh things in his tangible world in his physical world but also like money and wealth but also that's it's it's a big deal for him right now is that balance okay so thinking what do i need more of in my life what do i need less of in my life am i spending way too much time with my career less time with my family am i fam am i spending you know too much time with my friends not enough time with my career finding that balance okay not only in your physical world which is the major thing here but also like mind body spirit now look at his future he got the ace of pentacles okay and so as uh, he's he's really moving into uh this is a very auspicious reading like you know first of all ace ushers in that new change that new opportunity the new beginnings um this is really big for him okay this is really big this is the biggest pentacle in the deck obviously this is going to be uh a really big opportunity that comes through for him okay uh ace of pentacles honestly he is 
he's he's in a really good place. He's in a really good place. And uh, there is possibly some message coming through, too. We are coming out of a full moon. Uh, we had a major full moon in Cancer yesterday, and that was in his third house, okay? And that does rule, like, you know, communications. And uh, it's it's really is... Uh, there's something coming through that is uh, like a new opportunity for him uh, to increase his wealth and money. And it's it's just it's this brand new path for him. And I really love that. You know, I don't know who he is, but I really love that that's happening. Uh, just a quick clarifier. Yeah, here we go. Nine of Pentacles. Uh, this is really interesting. Um, it could uh, actually... Um, it's going to happen very soon, okay, before the end of winter. Uh, but also, Knight of Pentacles, uh, this is a lot of commitment energy, okay? Knights are all on a mission, okay? And this knight likes to sow his seeds, reap his rewards. You see its pentacles again, all right? You see his whole deck is dominated, or his spread is dominated by pentacles. So this is commitment energy and that stability, right? Bringing that structure. And then, you know, no matter how long it takes, again, that's what the Knight of Pentacles does. He's patient. He's patient. All the things that he wants, you know, and this new opportunity that's coming through, it's almost like building this stability for him. Especially, remember, we already got temperance here. Having that patience to see things through. You see your foot in the water, testing the waters. Think of it that way, right? And then moving from there. Okay, she's not jumping in the water. She's not, like, going at, like, light speed. So... He's really good. He's really good. Now, let's get to his staff. Again, if you um, like this reading, it would be great if you'd like, subscribe, leave comments. Uh, it really does help my channel grow. And if you're a subscriber, I love you. Thanks so much for being here with me every week. And if you want me to read a uh, celebrity, drop them in the comments. Now, looking at his staff, he's golden. When I say he's moving into the best year that he's had since 2011, this is affirmation here. He got the full, all right? He wants this new journey, all right? It's coming with the Ace of Pentacles, okay? And him being, you know, so imp intuitive, but also like has that intensity in terms of the things that he's passionate about. That's really good. That's really kickstarting this new, brand new era for him, okay? When you see the full, it's all the, you know, this is, you know, it, it, not even, first of all, not even the number tarot, it's zero, right? What's zero? Zero is nothing, but nothing is everything. This is infinite possibilities, standing on the edge of the cliff, no care in the world, long hair, no care. Listen, this is him starting this new adventure, new journey that's going to bring that fullness in life that he is seeking, okay? That's what he wants, actually. This is uh, really interesting. He, it, it, he, he wants this... Uh, uh, it's almost like next level energy, okay? With the direction all this is going, he has that comfort, he has that security, he has a lot of support here. He has a major support. Now, look at his external factors era. Do you see the pat? Do you see what's happening here? We started off with the Two of Pentacles, okay? Six of Cups, and then Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Like, this is really crazy. He's uh, the King, oh, I'm sorry, the King of Wands. Uh, which is uh, uh, absolutely amazing. The King of Wands, listen, speaking of passions, listen, the Wands are passions, are ideas, creativity, okay, but also career, a lot of career, enterprise, all right, job related. Now, this is, I call it the King of Wands, the Steve Jobs, the Tarot, okay, very in inspiring, very influential, uh, someone who is, you know, people look up to, people admire, and he you know, worked his butt off to sit in that throne. All right. He doesn't ha didn't have to work for anyone else. Now, listen, someone's very, someone very influential, someone very powerful is coming through to help Sam grow. Okay. In his element, in his career, uh, a lot of personal development, but also career big time. All right. Him pursuing his passions. Someone is coming through, uh, that will, it could be like an agent. It could be, you know, uh, uh, you know, maybe another, uh, artist that wants to do like some sort of, what do you call it? Like duet or <laughs> I don't partnership or anyway, listen, he got more pentacles. He's got the 10 of pentacles now. Now see, this is like kingdom come. This is the you made it card. It's raining pentacles in the form of the tree of life. Okay. Look at all the comfort and security here with the old man. We say that's a hermit who's finally made it. The young couple, the little child in the corner. Okay. This is legacy. 
energy. This is the you made it card. This is all he wants. This is all Sam wants, all right? Now, in his final outcome, he got the two of once, all right? So this is really great because it's showing that he does have a great vision. He does have great ideas. He has the world in his hands, okay? So it's planning, planning that next step, planning what's coming next, planning for his future, okay? And, you know, he, listen, <sighs> clarified, you see that he got the Ten of Cups, okay? Now, this is like i he has the best spread this is insane i mean this is i can't like i don't even know what to say. this is insane the 10 this is the uh like the happy family happy life happy home happy everything you see the pentacles oh, i'm sorry the uh cups in the rainbow here the rainbow indicating a promising future and then the cups over their heads a lot of enlightenment i mean when i say he's gonna make it he's gonna make it all right there's a lot of joy and happiness coming into his life it's he's he's good we're i mean this is really strong energy and if you're a fan of his expect a lot of uh expect him to move to the next level like in terms of his passions and him being who he is uh and his career and a lot of this is a good energy uh, uh, one of the main energies that's come through is he is such a good person and he does deserve this success that's coming and this prosperity and the, there's so much passion in him and the energy that i'm picking up is just such a good soul such a good person he is and he deserves all this all this money all this wealth all this happiness all this abundance all this you know f passion people coming through and again a lot of support energy here a lot of people who want to take him you know to make him like you know next level so that's the ring for sam fender uh best of luck to him he's definitely got it he's definitely got it here um uh, all right, that's it. That's the reading for Sam Fender. Thanks so much for tuning in. And uh, again, if you are a subscriber, definitely leave uh, comments if you you know know what's going on in his life. Again, I've never you know heard of him until uh, somebody requested him, and I'm going through the list. And so, uh, also, if you have any uh, 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 celebrities you want me, sorry, it's really early in the morning. Celebrities you want me to read, drop them in the comments. I'll do so. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.